Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel. Recently I did a video on Comet Lemon. Comet Lemon. I just got back from holiday in the United States and I went out to photograph that amazing comet. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. I've got a picture of it on my screen right here. I'll put it on the screen for you to see now. Absolutely amazing naked eye comet. It's probably the best comet I've seen since Neowise in 2020. Just look at that, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. A classic comet with a sort of greenish looking coma and that uh, tail, that really, really nice looking tail it's got there. And that is a classic comet. But I thought I'd do this quick video for you about Comet Atlas because it seems every man and his dog have been doing videos about this other mysterious comet, Comet I3 Atlas. I've had a few people telling me, Stephen, can you do a video about Comet Atlas? I'm worried that it's going to hit the Earth or maybe that it isn't a comet, maybe it's aliens. Now, when you look on YouTube and you look up Comet I3 Atlas, because that's the name of the comet, and it's a little bit of a weird one. I'll tell you about it in a minute, what I know anyway, in my humble opinion. You'll find that there's a lot of hype. In fact, there's a lot of hype about a lot of stuff that we see in the night sky. A lot of hype about comets, a lot of hype about meteors, a lot of hype about super moons as well. We had a super moon last week. It's when the moon is a little bit closer to the Earth in its orbit. Um, it's called uh, perigee when it's closest to the Earth and it's called apogee when it's, uh, when it's furthest away. And the difference isn't really a whole lot in terms of what we see with our own eyes. So a lot of stuff does get hyped up and comets certainly do get hyped up. But anyway, uh, Comet Atlas is acting a little bit weird. It might become visible, not to the naked eye, because it's gonna be it's going to come closer to the Earth in the middle of December. It's already gone past the sun, which, well, it's already gone to its closest approach to the sun. Um, I think it was October the 30th. Now, the thing about Comet Atlas, what, I, what I've done, I've watched loads of videos, and there's some guy that keeps coming up all the time, and he is a, he's a Harvard professor, Harvard astrophysicist, Avi Loeb, and he keeps coming up time and time again. He's been on every single video, and he's the sort of person that's one of those entertaining kind of people and he'll say oh it's doing all this weird thing it could be alien or or you know he'll speculate on a lot of things but um this is just my opinion from what l the various videos that i've seen is that it is a comet which means unlike the one we're looking at here comet lemon which is like a classic comet where you have that dust tail uh, and you have that really bright coma because it's coming close to the sun and it's melting all the structure of the comet, which is like a dirty snowball, which means it's got ice on it, ice and gases, and all those start to sublimate when it warms up, when it heats up. And that's how you get this classic uh, comet like we've got there. And like Neowise in 2020, of course, which I photographed over Blackpool Tower, another classic comet and what a picture that was i managed to get and you can look at that video as well that was uh, five years ago now comet atlas is a bit different they're calling it like a dark comet because it doesn't have or at least it doesn't appear to have like an obvious tail like uh comet lemon and comet neowise it's not an asteroid because an asteroid wouldn't um give off any gases at all. It, it would just be a rock floating through space. It wouldn't have any ice in it, but comets, they are dirty snowballs and they do have ice and gas and that's the stuff that gives off that bright coma. But the thing about Atlas is it, it's doing all these weird things. It's not um, looking like a classic comet. They say it's like a dark comet. So it does have um, a tail, but they said that the tail was facing towards the sun, which is, one of the speculations that it could have been an alien spacecraft and it was turning its tail round to slow down. I think Avi Loeb mentioned that. Normally the tail faces away from the sun. 
so that's the dust tail they also have another tail as well which is like a um uh, what they call an ion tail or the gas tail now that's a tail which faces directly away from the sun the dust tail just basically faces away from the sun but it kind of curves a little bit along the path of the comet so they've got two two different tails now you can't see the gas tail on this one on Comet Lamon, but it will have a gas tail because they all have gas tails. It's the dust tail that we can actually photograph more. It's a bit easier to photograph the dust tail. But yeah, lots of weird things about Comet Atlas from what I've seen. Don't want to disappoint you. Now, I love aliens like the next person. I've, I grew up on aliens. I grew up on the Unexplained magazine. We used to get the Unexplained magazine regularly once a month. We used to get the binders, remember, with all the aliens in it and the ghosts and the and all other scary things. Some of the things really scared me. They scared me to this day. Some of the pictures they put in there, they were, they were horrific, some of the pictures they put in there. But, yeah, that's what I grew up on. And I grew up on alien stories and all that sort of thing. I loved it but I don't think it's an alien spacecraft. Now, the last time, here's the thing as well, I forgot to mention, it's an interstellar comet. It's the third interstellar comet that we've had come into the solar system that, well, that we know of. And uh, I think the first one was called Oumuamua, Mua, was it? Oumuamua. And they thought that was aliens because it was a very, very weird shape. It was like a cigar shape, like the classic sort of, um, UFO shape of old, it was a cigar shape, you know, like, a, and uh, that was an interstellar comet, which means it's come from outside of our solar system. It's come from another star system. It's older than the Earth and probably older than the sun as well. And that's the amazing thing about Comet Atlas, but it's going to pass by its closest approach to Earth, as far as I know, in the middle of December. And it's going to take a little bit of a it's going to accelerate a little bit. And here's another thing as well. They've been talking about this comet accelerating non-gravitationally. Now, normally when things come close to the sun, they normally um, speed up a little bit. They speed up a little bit as they go. They get a little bit of a kick from the sun. They speed up a bit. Now, they reckon that this comet is speeding up without that gravitational uh, assist from the sun. So that could be something to do with the outgassing of it, uh, the tail, something else is thrusting it along. This is another reason why they spoke about it being aliens. Now, I probably will try and do, if I can, another video on this. I might even try and photograph it because they say that when it comes closer to the Earth, it might be possible to photograph it. Now, it might not be a picture like this one, spectacular, but it'll be something. We might be able to get, get some. There have been uh, space telescope pictures of it. I believe the Mars Reconnaissance um, orbiters took a picture of it. The Jupiter Juice um, uh, satellite possibly got a picture of it. It's, it's, it's not much to look at, but we don't think that it's aliens. So when you look on YouTube, you look up Comet Atlas, there'll be loads of videos, Joe Rogan, all that. They're all talking about this comet and all speculating a lot. And I don't want to let you down because I love aliens just as much as anybody else. And I watched Close Encounters back in 1979, was it? I even visited this site. You know, Devil's Tower on my trip to America recently where the aliens landed. And I won't tell you anymore because you want to watch the movie. If you haven't seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind, check it out. It's one of the best alien movies ever. But there you go. That's my take on Comet Atlas. I'm going to try and do a follow-up. Like I say, I'll see if I can get a picture of it. Probably not as good a picture as Comet Le Mans that I got a picture of the other day. Might still be able to photograph that as I film this video. I don't know. I'm going to have a look and see if I can see it again because uh, I'd like to have another look at it. But that's it for this video. I don't think Comet Atlas is aliens, but it is a weird comet. But don't be worried. I don't think it's going to hit the Earth and I don't think it's aliens coming to take us away. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And don't forget to keep looking up.